In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called Pascal's triangle. So given a non-negative integer number rows, generate the first number rows of the Pascal's triangle. So in the Pascal's triangle, each number is the sum of two numbers directly above it. So 1 plus 1 is 2, in this case is for the furthest position. The previous position plus the current element of the previous row gave us the current value, right? So here you can see the input is 5 and then the output is going to be a list of list integers. So how can we solve this problem? So one way we can do this is we can first define our base case. In this case, we first going to create our first row of, um, uh, of Pascal triangle. But first, we want to make sure that the row that the the number row does not equal to zero, right? If the number row, if the number row is equal to zero, the best situation will be to return an empty list. Now, if the number row is bigger than zero, right? If number row is bigger than zero. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to first create our first row and then what we're going to do is we're just going to build the remaining rows um, based on the previous row that we have right so let me show you how we can do this first what we're going to do is we're just going to create a list of list integers that we're going to return at the end then what we're going to do is we're just going to see if num rows is less than zero right so if it's sorry if it's less than one we can just return this list right because um yeah basically we just want to return an empty list if it's less than zero for the number rows and then what we're going to do is we're just going to add our initial row because every row is built on top of the previous row so we have to define our previous pre previous row first so in this case we're going to have a list of integer let's call it pre is equal to new uh, array list now we're going to add a one value onto this previous list uh, we're going to add one and then we're going to add it to the um, answer list okay then what we're going to do is we're just going to iterate right so we're starting from index one right in this case this is going to be index zero this is index one index two index three index four okay and what we're going to do is this so while i is less than um num rows right so num rows let's say num rows is five um and currently we're at index one index two index three index four right so in this case while i is less than num rows or if num row is five right so we're going to say if it's less than number row, we're going to continue to iterate. First, we're going to um, define our row, right? Define our list is equal to integer. We have a sub list, right? Is equal to a link list. What we're going to do is we're going to first add one to it because you can see all the edge, all the edges, right? All the uh, left border and the right borders are all equal to one. So in this case, initially, we're going to add one to it. Then what we're going to do is this. So for each element in J is equal to uh, is equal to one, right? We're starting at one in this case, right? So uh, and then what we're going to do is while J is less than I. OK, so while J is less than I, what we're going to do is we're going to iterate. So in this case, um, each row, you can see the first row, we have one element. The second row, we have two elements. The third row, we have three elements, right? So in this case, the length of the list is based on the um, based on number of rows, right? So in this case, if we have for the first row, in this case, we only have one element, right? Uh, for the second row, we have two elements. So in this case, we're starting at um, index one. Uh, we're basically just trying to add the inner elements, right? So in this, in this case, the inner elements is two, right? And then we also have three and three here, right? We're adding the inner element. And for the last element, in this case, we're just going to add it here. Sub dot add one, okay? And uh, what's going to happen is that for the inner elements, it's always going to be built on top of the previous element. So in this case, um, the value is equal to pre.get j plus pre.get j minus 1. 
Okay, this will give us the previous element. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add it to the sublist. Then what we're going to do is we're basically going to, uh, once we added it, uh, finished, completed the, um, the current uh, row, what we're going to do is we're going to add it onto the, um, the answer list, right? So dot add sub. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to assign the current sub list onto the um, so the previous sub uh, current sub sub list onto the previous list. And then what we're going to do at the end is we're just going to return right after we iterate. We're just going to return the uh, the answer list. Okay. So let's try to run the code and see what we have. Okay. Let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So in this case, the time complexity will be n squared, where n is equal to number rows, right? So for each row, we're going to build all the elements um, based on the previous row. So in this case, it's going to be n squared. So there you have it, and thank you for watching.